it's feeding time. <laughs> now over there, that little guy, that's a baby magpie. And this is his parent. Not sure who you are, but... <laughs> it's a madhouse. Oh, he took one. He's being pretty good at feeding himself. Oh, did your mother not give that to you? <laughs> he did well, he stole it. Oops. Zooming the wrong way. It's getting a bit chaotic here with all the birds. There's so many of them now. No fighting you two. There's plenty for everybody. Come on. There's a few of my doggies out there. Hello doggies. <laughs> Are you going to take that to your baby in the nest? Or are you going to eat it yourself? Are eh? you going to eat it yourself, are you? What about you? Oh, you've managed to get something, have you? G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Radio. so, you know how I've put plastic in resin to give the crushed velvet effect i've put fabric in there to do the chiffon effect look look what i've got i've got some rainbow foil i know right i'm gonna try it i don't know how it's gonna go and i'll talk to you about that in a minute but i just want to get my resin poured in here this is the platinum 360 plus and i'm using my deep coaster mold my deep large coaster mold um, I've made up 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B. I don't want to fill it up all the way because I'm thinking that the foil is going to like poke through the top. It might want to float. I don't know what it's going to do. So I only want to kind of fill this halfway or two thirds of the way. I'll just finish what's in there. Um, just making sure they're equal. So probably maybe two thirds of the way, fill them up. And that way, if anything's still poking through <laughs> after I've done my, my foil, my crushed foil, I don't know, whatever it's called, it's just gonna be foil. Um, then, you know, I can do a top coat. So there it is, that's, that's in there. And I'll give it a quick little torch some bubbles all right so I want that to sit for a little bit um, and just kind of thicken up a little when I was doing my my plastic you know for the crushed velvet effect I found that if I put the plastic in uh, too early the resin is too thin I can't get my gloves off the resin is too thin and the plastic just wants to just smooth back out again so that's why I am going to let it just sit for a bit I'm going to spray that just a touch. So I went to my craft store, which is just around the corner, <laughs> 10 minutes away. And um, I got I got a, quite a few rainbow films. I got this one uh, from Craft Online. It's called Deco Foil. And it's actually transfer sheets. So I think it, you remember when I did those coasters and I put the adhesive down and I put this down and I rubbed it and I peeled it back. I don't know whether it's the same as that or not, but I was just looking for a rainbow foil. So I got some of that. Um, and then I also got this one. It's also called Deco foil. And um, when I opened this and took this out, it was exactly the same as this, except in this little bottle, I got five sheets. And this one, I got 20 sheets. But as far as I can see, they are exactly the same. 
See? Exactly the same. So yeah, go figure. I can't remember, like I just, I just paid for everything together. Um, and when you go to craft online, they don't actually have prices <laughs> on their shelves. Um, it's, a, it's like a warehouse and you just pay at the end. Okay, now I can't get that back and I'll deal with that later. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the same, exactly the same. So I think if you're going to do this, probably get this one, which is 20 sheets. Um, and then I also got this one that was in there. Glimmer Hot Foil System Glimmer Foil. So I also got that. See, I told you I just got everything that was like rainbowish, but it's not quite as wide. It's like this much shorter, and then it's not going to fit in my um, in my coaster mold. Not, not this one anyway. So this one's a little bit thinner, like it feels thinner, and I think it'll be easier to use. But it's not going to fit in the big coaster, so I'd have to get the small coaster mold out. And then I also got this one which is also deco foil, five sheets, but it's yellow and pink and orange and like a sunset-y kind of a colour. So I've got that one as well. Um, I also got these. <laughs> oh, look at these. Anyway, those are going to come. And then I also got something else as well, but I'll talk to you about that another time. Right, so my resin is sitting. Um, and we'll just let that warm up for a, a tick and thicken up a bit. So while that's thickening up, I am going to get my bit of foil ready. So I want to do, I'm just going to do these two, just because I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. And this is the same size coaster, so I'm going to, just actually just going to cut this in half. First. Let's just cut it in half, that way we know we've got half for one coaster, half for the other coaster. I should have bought myself some, I was saying to my husband on the back, I should have bought myself some decent scissors from the craft shop because my other scissors are kind of covered in resin. <laughs> Alright, so there's both of those. Now I don't want to put them in square, so I'm going to just do that and mark on the back side obviously. Now I want them a little bit bigger than the actual coaster cavity, so we'll just kind of mark on there. Can you still see what I'm doing? Hopefully I'm not too far out of screenshot. Around. It's always good not to have your, your foil too big. But um, on the other hand, you don't want it too small either because you do need to scrunch it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut... But I want to cut like probably a centimetre like that, just all the way around, like half an inch or so. It's perfect size and then hopefully I should have enough foil to kind of scrunch a little bit. Okay. Doesn't have to be a total complete circle just I don't want to have any sharp pointy like corners on it and but yeah I have no idea if it's gonna work or not <laughs> it seems a bit big but once I've scrunched it I, I don't know I don't know anyway I'm gonna do the other one um, and then I'll come back to you okay you guys um, quite nervous about this I don't I don't really know like oh I'm just a bit worried <laughs> I'm just a bit worried because it's a bit you know firmer I better get my gloves on hadn't I but it's a bit firmer than um, my usual plastic and it's certainly firmer than fabric so now I've got these two little silicone brushes that I'm going to use to kind of dab all right um I guess it's just gonna sit on top. Oh, look, let's just let's just get it in there, eh? Let's just let's just get it in there. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna get all the edges in first. That's what I want to do. Get the edges in first. Come on, little corner. Come on, little edge. In you go. In you go. 
That's what I want to do first because it's, uh, like I said, I haven't filled the mould up totally. It might even be a little bit big, this. I will see. So, yeah, but I haven't filled it up totally, so I should, should be able to, oh gosh, push one end and the other end comes out. Um, push down onto the, I, the foil sit up against the side of the mould. If you know what I mean. Okay, I need a baby wipe. This is going to be very sticky. It's going to be sticky. I can just tell. All right, here we go. I, I don't really want to use my fingers because my gloves are just going to get covered in resin. But this is just this. Okay, this is just sliding. And I need to get this point in. But you can see what I mean about it being like more kind of firmish, I guess. Like it just doesn't want to bend as easily as regular plastic does. But look, I I'm just gonna it's just gonna take a bit of time. It's all right. We can we can do this. We can do this. All right. It's just gonna take a little bit of patience. I probably made my little bit of foil a little bit big. Did I? I'll see. I'll see. I can always trim the other one down if I'm thinking this one's a bit too big. I can always trim the other one down a bit. But it's it's really a good idea to just let your resin, either use a resin that's a bit on the thick side. <laughs> or um, wait for it to get thick. Otherwise, it just doesn't hold its shape, you know. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. Oh, look, it's looking pretty. Think it's too big. Look, if you cut it any smaller, you're not going to have any folds at all. Oh yeah. That is so cool. <gasps> Although I am sticking up probably a little bit higher than the top of the the coaster in some areas. Might just have to wait for it to kind of thicken a little bit more, and then I can get back in there and pinch. Okay, um, I'm going to leave it for now um, and just, like I said, wait until that resin's a little bit thicker. Then when I push down like that, it'll kind of stay a little bit more rather than coming back up. But look, it's almost there, almost there. I am making a bit of a drippy mess though. Okay, let's just, let's just leave that for now. I just need to fix up this middle bit. I don't like that, the middle bit, but let me clean off my gloves. What are you doing? You get back down. You get back down there. I think I'm going to trim this one a little bit, my other piece. It doesn't need to have a whole centimetre around. Because when I, when I drew my marker on, it was a little bit away from the edge anyway of the coaster. Um, and then, you know, I cut even bigger. So probably don't need to do that, but it's looking good, looking good. All right, let me just get this resin off my gloves. Um, okay, I'm going to do this. I'll do it this way so I can see. I'm going to go halfway between where I've cut and my marker line. And we'll just see how much we actually need. That way it's good for you guys because you learn from my mistakes, don't you? But that one that I just did, look, it may be, it may be fine. It just needs a little bit more tweaking. Tweaking and twerking. Okay, there we go. So that's that one out. But um, yeah, you, you probably need to have um, a nice deep coaster mold like this one. I, I will link this coaster mold down in the description. So again, I just want to push it in there until the edges are all touching because that will stop the foil from wanting to creep out. With any luck, we'll start doing our little pinches.
Now we can see which one actually works better, whether the one that you know has more foil, a little bit bigger, or the one that's got a little bit less, which one is going to work better for us. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Do some pinches. And when the resin thickens up, those pinches that we make are going to stay in there better. It's still not really thick enough. So I, I will come back to it. I think I'm liking this one actually. But I haven't finished working on this one. I've only just sort of started on it, haven't I? I haven't finished I haven't finished my pinching. So some of the resin will come up over the top, which is fine. Some of the resin will stay underneath, which is fine. And we're just going to keep pinching until it's all basically wet with resin. The resin's gone over the top. We do need it to go over the top. Keep pinching until it's all kind of run over the top. Oh look, they both look great. They both look great. I don't know that, I mean this one's got a little bit of foil that's still kind of poking up. I'll just have to keep pushing it down. And then as the resin thickens, I can push it down and it'll stay down. See how these ones want to keep poking up? Whereas these ones don't have anything that wants to kind of I mean, they're poking up, but they're not poking out like this one. See, this one's like jumping out. So I'm thinking this, if you're going to do it, and I'm sure you guys will, um, yeah, don't, don't have it too big. Just a little bit around the outside. Just going to squish that a little bit more. Okay, that's, I'm just going to leave that for now. I'm going to give it like, I don't know, another 10 minutes or so. Try not to squish too much, otherwise you're going to actually break the foil. And you're going to see like the foil's coming away, the foil's coming off, the colour's coming off. Certainly I'm struggling with this one a little bit more. It has got more folds. Alright, um, yeah, I'm going to come back in about 10 minutes once it's had a chance to thicken up a little bit more. Um, and then I'll, I'll finish it off. Radio. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's looking so good. Okay, so what I did was I lifted the end out of this and just snipped a little bit more off. Lifted that end, snipped a little bit more off. Same amount, just a little bit all the way around. And I'm much happier with it now. I mean, I could have cut another piece. I've got plenty there, but I just thought, well, it's already in here. It's already covered in resin. Um, and everything's kind of sitting, I think, below the height of the top of the mould now. And it's thickening up, so I just check on it every 10 minutes, and if something looks as if it's kind of poking up a little bit, I'll just poke it back down. <laughs> but basically, basically that's it. I, I don't need to do anything else to it. Um, let's see if I can show you... See, this is why you need to make sure that you're using a deep-ish mould and don't fill it all the way with resin because it'll just all pour out as the foil goes in. And you can see the foil there, it's kind of still poking out through the top, which is fine. I knew it was going to do that. If I'd filled them up all the way, it would have just been an awful mess when I tried to poke the foil down. So as you can see, this one's creeping up again. So we'll just poke him down. And keep an eye on it. Poke it down. <laughs> it still wants to come up. So anyway, I'll just keep keep an eye on them just as the resin cures. Should watch what I'm doing through the screen, shouldn't I? There we go. But uh, yeah, it's looking looking really good. So just keep an eye on it as it cures. Like I said, make sure nothing's poking through. If it does start creeping up, just give it another little poke. Um, and then once this has 
doesn't have to be cured totally, but just cured enough that we can come and put another top coat on. Uh, we'll come and put another top coat on. You stay down, please. What do you think you're doing? What do you think this is? Bush week. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Um, I will come back to you in a few hours when this has cured enough for the top coat, but look at it. <gasps> look at it, you guys. Wow. Oh, I love it. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been doing such a lot of fun things lately. All right, I'll see you soon. Righto, so it's been a few hours. These have sat up beautifully. <laughs> um, I was trying to poke something down, and I'm not that it's high, but I was going to poke it down, but no, it's set. It has set. Uh, make sure there's no little bits of fluff or anything in there. And here we go with the top coat. Now, I've just made up the exact same amount again, and I'm going to pour into the stick just slowly to help avoid splashing and therefore bubbles. I'll see how that goes. I don't want it to overflow. And I might not even need to fill them all the way up. I just need them to cover that foil. So if I've got a little bit left, you know what I can do. I can make a puffy heart <laughs> or two or three. Okay, how's that looking? Um, let's look across the top. There's a little bit there, just there. That bit there that I said to you, I was trying to push it down. There we go. Cover him up. Now, I will make sure that they're both equal. This one could do with a little bit more. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I am in love with these. Oh, hey. So good. Now I just need to do the other two. Um, and look, I've got the um, the sunset one. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah, so good. All right. Now, uh, a few little bubbles there. Get those out. Um, and basically, that's it. So uh, gorgeous and smooth on top. Nothing's poking through. I've had a look from the side on. So that'll just stay like that now. I will go and get my plastic box and cover them so that don't get any bugs or dust or anything in there overnight. And then we can take them out tomorrow and have a look. Um, I'm not sure if underneath, on like the back side, there's going to be any bubbles. I don't know. Like where, you know, where I've scrunched and maybe a bubble's got underneath. But um, if you were doing this to sell, for instance, you could, you could turn them over and do like a black top coat. How good, well bottom coat <laughs> if there was a bubble and you were selling them or giving them away as a gift if you did have a bubble and you were worried about it cover it with a coat of black all right see you guys in the morning the time has come it's the next day and let's get these out wow oh look oh my gosh oh my gosh how exciting is it on unmolding day isn't it it's the best time of the day let me move that somewhere. Oh, all right. Let's have a look. Now, I know there's nothing to, like, show you. Like, what's the word? <laughs> Unveil. <laughs> because, um, you know, you've already seen everything. So, wow. Okay, I can see straight away that I'm going to have to put some black on the background. Because where I've scrunched the colours come away a little bit I was I was a bit worried about that because you know how I said I think these are the foils where you put some adhesive down then you put the foils down and then you rub and you peel back and the the color stays behind so I think that's what's happening here I'm just going to get my little bit of black card then I can put it behind very handy having a little bit of black card like that yes yes look at that perfect can you see what I mean can you you see how the, the colours kind of being scrunched off? I have ordered um, a different type of rainbow foil. It probably won't be here for another week, maybe. So when it arrives, I'll use it. But for I just wanted to get it done. But look, this works fine. So what we'll need to do is, this was the one that I scrunched a lot first, because <laughs> this was the bigger one. Let's have a look at the back. Okay. 
there's a couple of couple of little bubbles there but this is not the side we're looking at so well we are looking at it but it's not the side that you're going to have on display so you could either you know put a piece of cork over it you know that um i have got cork but it's the smaller one you can put a piece of cork over it um you could put black resin over it or the cheats way <clears throat> would be just to put some tape around the edge and get your black spray paint and just spray it really that would be a good option too so oh my gosh look at that right, let's have a look at the other one as well they're both really really pretty my gosh i am in love look at that what do you think do you like that it was a little bit tricky but only because i wasn't used to using the foil plastic is a lot easier but anyway that's them now i also have like a little bonus unmolding it was a little test that i did yesterday and um, i wanted to see how it would work if it would work okay so i just grabbed one of my single molds this is the one that's got the um the druzy edge see that it's got the druzy edge in there crystal edge so i wanted just to do a single so i grab that now this is uh, a 3D bloom, but there's no pigment paste in it. I know, right? It's a little bit of a test that I was doing. So you know how normally I use the um, Cast and Craft or the Angel White or the Just Resin Titanium White? Anyway, it hasn't got any pigment paste in it. And I thought, I wonder if it's going to work without it. So... Let's have a look. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. <gasps> oh, look, you guys. It worked. Wow. Bit of dust on it. Look at that. What do you think? I know the glitters. <laughs> the glitter's very distracting on it. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad that worked. Probably probably didn't need to put glitter on it. <laughs> just a just a dark background would have been good. It worked. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I will do a video on how to do this because I know a lot of you are still struggling with your blooms. So no paste. <gasps> oh, so exciting. All right. So that's them. Hope you enjoyed my video. Um, for these two anyway and this will be another video coming up but i wanted to unmold it this morning and i thought you might as well watch it with me hey we'll unmold together so there we go all right thank you so much for watching grab yourself some foil i will link where i got this particular transfer film or foil from but you can just i think if you just google um metallic foil i think it'll come up uh like rainbow metallic film something like that all right gotta go I haven't had my coffee <laughs> need my coffee thank you so much for watching take care everyone love you all bye for now